secrets and clues and hidden uh, tricks that go with the story, okay? Here's Franklin. Let me just ask you a question. You guys can sit down right here and you can see better. Sit right there. Franklin's sitting on the floor of his bedroom. Do you notice anything funny about his bedroom wall? Appears to be a giant hole smashed in it. So let's figure out how that got there. You ready? One night, while he was staring at the moon, wishing he could visit it, Franklin heard a tapping on his wall, only it wasn't exactly tapping. It was more like, what are you doing? Franklin asked the man with the sledgehammer. Do you see what the guy just did with his sledgehammer? Got his hammer? What? What did he do? Yeah. He appears to have broken a hole in front of What are you doing? Franklin asked the man with the sledgehammer. You're supposed to be asleep, said the man. Maybe I would be asleep, said Franklin, if you hadn't just busted through my wall. The man looked perturbed. He scratched his head. He checked his watch, and he looked at his friends. Are you going to sleep anytime soon, he asked. I don't think so, said Franklin. Well, I haven't got all night, said the man. Coming through. Through my bedroom, asked Franklin. Yep, said the man. Watch your elbows. Get those elbows tucked in. Franklin heard a lonesome whistle, a light glow in the distance. Do you see what they're doing in his bedroom? What do they appear to be building next to his bed? Yeah? They appear to be building a railroad next to his bed. A light glowed in the distance. A colossal silver train thundered through Franklin's bedroom. As its windows flickered past, Franklin thought he recognized the checkout lady from the grocery store, the mailman, and his dentist. And then, at the window of the final car, Franklin saw the back of a little boy's head. Something about that head seemed familiar. Franklin wished he could have ridden that train. After the train's lights faded, Franklin heard more noise. It was the man with the sledgehammer. We have to take down the railroad, he announced. Why, asked Franklin. The man checked his plan. Everybody got where they needed to go, he said. After the railroad was gone, Franklin felt lonely. But after a while, he fell asleep and dreamed. He was rushing through moonlight while forests and houses streamed past him. This is dream. <coughs> Things were quiet at Franklin's house for about a week. But then, the following Tuesday, Franklin heard a scratching, scratching on the roof. Only, it wasn't exactly scratching. It was more like, what are you doing, Franklin asked, the man with the buzz song. Do you see what the guy just did to the roof of his bedroom? What do you do? Yeah. Yeah. The man appears to have cut a hole in the roof of his bedroom, and now he's dangling through it upside down with a buzz saw. What are you doing? Franklin asked the man with the buzz saw. Awake again? Asked the man. Well, you just buzz saw through my roof, said Franklin. The man looked miffed. He rubbed his nose, he checked his watch, and he looked at his plans. I guess you're not going to sleep anytime soon, he said. Nope, said Franklin. Well, I haven't got all night, said the man. I'm coming through. Again, asked Franklin. Just keep your head down. Franklin heard a roaring noise. A light glowed in the distance. You see what they did this time? 
What they build in his room this time? Can you see? What they build in his room this time, Noah? Yeah. Looks like a runway going right past his bed, and looks like Franklin heard a roaring noise, a light glow in the distance. A colossal jet came screaming out of the shrubbery. Just as it got to Franklin's bedroom, it took off. As this little oval window flickered overhead, Franklin thought he recognized the security guard from the bank, here, his piano teacher, and Uncle Marty. And in the very last window, Franklin saw the back of a little boy's head. He thought possibly he recognized the cowlick. Anybody here know what a cowlick is? Anybody know what a cowlick is? <laughs> well, um, I'd like to draw attention to the audience members, but I believe if we look, I believe if we look right here, yeah. we see a pretty good cowlick. <laughs> <laughs> As the plane rose into the sky, Franklin wished he could go along. After the roar died down, Franklin felt lonely. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in your bed? You're supposed to be going to sleep. And everybody in your house is asleep, but you're not asleep. That ever happened? That's pretty lonely. That's how Franklin feels. He went to sleep, though, and dreamed. He flew so high, he found 12 new stars. And that's his dream. He dreamed he flew so high, he found 12 new stars. Things were quiet at Franklin's house for a while. Then, one Thursday night, a rumbling came through the floor. Only, it wasn't exactly rumbling. It was more like, what did the guy do this time? Can you see what he did? Look, what did he do? Look at Franklin's floor. Yeah. Yeah. He appears to have chopped a hole in the floor using a jackhammer. Now what? Franklin asked the man with the jackhammer. Canal, said the man. Through my bedroom, nodded Franklin. How'd you guess? The man asked. Tuck in your toes. You guys better tuck in your toes something. Kind of. Can you see this picture? Do you see what's happening right outside Franklin's bedroom? What's out there? Yeah. A boat floating on the... Ocean. The ocean appears to have come right up to his bedroom. Franklin felt a powerful vibration. A light glowed in the distance. An ocean liner came steaming up the canal. Waving at him over the rail were let's see who it is. His mother's boss, the school bus driver, and the guy from across the street who wore Hawaiian shirts even in December. Have fun in Oahu, Franklin shouted. Thanks, yelled the guy. Leaning over the bow rail was a boy whose ears stuck out in a memorable way. Franklin wished he could have ridden that ocean like that. After the vibration of the engine faded, Franklin heard another noise. It was the man with the jackhammer. We have to fill in the canal, he said. Okay, said Franklin, fine. Franklin felt lonely when they were done, but after a while, he fell asleep and dreamed of seas no one had ever seen. Have you guys ever seen a sea like that? Do you see what's in there? What do you see? Yeah, some kind of humpback whale with two humps, a dragonfish of some sort, a bird beak fish, a volcano, and you know, you see where Franklin is standing? He has own little mountain to stand on. He dreamed of seas no one had ever seen. The next morning, Franklin woke with a start. Wait a second, he said. He ran to the bathroom and checked out the back of his head in the mirror. What did he see? What does he see? You got it. What is it? What was that? Do you remember? Cowlick. What else? 
ears that stick out? What did he just recognize? It was him writing all those things through his own room. Aha! He said, frankly, when the man returned, the moon was full outside Franklin's window. I figured out what's going on, said Franklin. Nobody knows how this works, the man said. Well, I do, said Franklin, and there's a place I've always wanted to go. Okay, said the man, but you've got to keep quiet. I can do that, said Franklin. Let me just ask you, did Franklin want to go at the beginning of the day? I'm staring out the moon, out at the window, at the... What? Why should we be visiting? What do you think Franklin just asked this guy for? Hmm, let's find out. <laughs> yes. And since Franklin got his rocket ship to the moon, I thought this would be a good time to say, the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to show you, I'll show you one of the tricks that I really like. Okay, and I won't keep you anymore. You saw Franklin's bedroom at the beginning, right? You probably didn't notice, but now that you've heard the book, if you look at his bedroom, do you see any clues about what he might dream about that night? Any clues in the picture that my friend Boris put in? What do you see? Yeah. The airplane and the boat, and, and what else? Look under his bed. He's been playing with the train. That's right. See it? See the train? Does that ever happen to you? Did you ever think about something all day long? Like something you play with or like, and then you go to sleep and dream about it? No? That's I think that's what my friend Boris is at. Okay. Thanks for listening. And if you